I am Nawaz Ahmed. I am working Al Qaeda trading. No Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda trading. <laughs> Salesman. Now music is your arm. Everybody, everybody, Muslims know. My question is: Now we are starting Peace TV. Alhamdulillah. Media is very important. Advertisement. Advertisement. Music is haram or halal? Brothers ask that. All the Muslims know that music is haram, but when we start a channel, there'll be advertisement. So in advertisement, music is haram or halal. See, what is haram is haram. If it's haram in Saudi, it is haram in UAE, it's haram in USA, haram in India also. Unless your life is in danger. Like alcohol is haram, but if your life is in danger, the alcohol is the only drug that can save you. That is the only exception to the rule, if your life is in danger. So here, without advertisement, inshallah, our channel won't be in danger. See, that's why I said that running a channel is difficult. Running a channel on Islamic lines is more difficult. Therefore, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he keep us on the hidayah. If we cannot run on Islamic lines, we will close the channel, inshallah. If we cannot run it on the Islamic lines, we will close the channel. Because being on the Islamic Sharia is more important than starting a channel. We should not compromise. We can't reach to the truth with haram means. What is haram is haram. What we can do, we can substitute with halal. What haram, we can substitute with halal. For example, if the musical instruments are haram, the duff is allowed. We can use natural sounds, like the gushing of water, like thunder, lightning, chirping of birds. If you see the programs of IRF, in the starting, the effects are, you will not find that music is missing, though we don't use music. But the way it is presented, with the natural sounds, etc. Alhamdulillah, it has, if not equal, somewhere close to the effect. But a good effect. It will not take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will take you towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you can use natural sounds and we will not allow any ads which are haram. Any ads which are haram, whether it be ads containing of alcohol, whether ads of interest-based companies or banks, whether it be involving or exposing of women, etc. Those who want to give halal ads with halal means the most welcome. Otherwise, we don't require them. We require the help of Allah, which is more important. Hope that answers the question. The last question of the day from the lady. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am uh, Dr. Firdos. My question is that we know from the ahadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us about the fitness or afflictions of Dijjal. And according to some of the hadith, we are informed that uh, Dijjal will reach every house. He will show you water which you cannot drink. And he will show you fire which will not burn you. Uh, can we consider TV to be one of the afflictions of Dijjal? First of all, the question that there are hadith talking about Dijjal which are Sahih hadith. There are some scholars, including she has quoted that, that some of the scholars say that this television, you know, can't Dajjal, one eye Dajjal, screen is only one eye, so this is the Dajjal. So can't we consider this as the Dajjal? There's no hadith saying TV is Dajjal, whether TV is or not. You know what we have to do? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when you stand for Salah, don't leave any gap, close in your gap, so that there's no place for the Shaitan. Sahih Bukhari, poem number one, Book of Adhan, chapter 75, hadith number 692. The same hadith is repeated. In Sunnah Abu Dawood, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 245, hadith number 666. That when you stand for Salah, stand shoulder to shoulder, close in your gaps, so that the Satan doesn't come. If, we, if you consider this as the Dajjal, you convert the Dajjal into a Muslim. Change this TV media into a true media and propagate it. There is no proof that television is a Dajjal, but even if you consider it to be a Dajjal, what we have to do is we have to use this media to propagate the haq so that we can testify to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have tried a level best to convey the message to the world and give the message of Islam to the whole of humankind.